Isaac. All right. The binding of Isaac continues. Okay. Zygard. Brand new to competitive. Uh, what team, both doubles and singles, you recommend? Uh, whatever team you, that has Pokemon that you like. I think if you're new, you should really try to like find Pokemon that you like to play with. How many fairies that tank Fisher's Ren? Most of them. Feeny would be the best. Speaking of Feeny, there's a Feeny right there. Yo, why well, is gifted a sub as well? Holy moly, yo, another gifted sub. Holy moly, we take those. Thank you, my friend. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Let's think about what we want to do here. I think you want to go Grim in this situation, as weird as this sounds. I think you want to go Grim Calyrex. I could also probably get away with, like, Big Feeny. Sorry, Big Venusaur here. Because, like, Venusaur is pretty dope against a lot of those. I also could technically get away with, like, an After You here. I think we're going to go Entity and then Torkoal. Let's see if we can make this work. This is going to be really hard to get the Feeny off the board, though. No, I don't like it. I dislike this. I like these two better, much better. If they lead with uh, Cart, which could be a really good problem for our team, this definitely takes it apart. It sucks not using Grim here either, but I think Venusaur is going to be monumental. All right, yo. You're in great balls here, not doing well. The thing is, like, every Pokemon can be good, though. So it's like... I could tell you, it's like, all right, well, yeah, just use Cartoon and you win every game. But it's like, that's not going to... That's not going to give you the tools that you need like giving you the cruise control for success won't really make you any better you know the idea is kind of like after you in a tr in specific matchups or else just save Miltras in the back to be a uh, late game cleanup but thank you so much for the gifted stuff i appreciate it and it's it's helped me have a great day so yeah we're eating and intimidate i think that kind of sucks but i don't think it's the end of the world I think I'm actually just gonna Vine Lash the Grim and switch up my Calyrex for Torkoal. As weird as that sounds. I don't think I need a TR right now. I'm not I'm not pressured. And if I get my Vine Lash ticking, like next time I can switch in and cut berries and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll see. I don't really care what that Grim does. Um, I'd like it if he didn't screens. I'd love to be able to just get rid of him. What's cool about this board? Okay, cool, he's switching. Who are you switching into then? Who's taking the damage? Feeny? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, happy birthday. How about a third? Subs of 26 months. Oh my gosh, subs of. The, the Feeny, the Pokemon that I said would be the hardest Pokemon to deal with. This guy's, this guy's crazy. This guy's nuts. Feeny down. I think. Feeny should be going down, down, down. And we haven't seen what his Incense doing yet. I don't care if he Flare Blitzes my Venusaur. I don't think that that matters. I get do it does matter, but he won't kill me. He'll take more recoil. I'll sacrifice my health to do good chip. Vine Lash, he's, so he's not fake out. He's probably just for blitzing. Beanie gonna be almost gone. That's a thick Beanie, by the way. I'm full special attack. Full. Get a pinch? All right, cool. Uh, let's see if it's a Citrus or a pinch. Citrus, okay. Okay. Taunt. Ha! Ha, look at you taunting me. Oh, don't taunt Torkoal. Don't do it. Torkoal. Torkoal ain't got time for your shit. All right, let's see this. Oh, that's so much damage to the Incin. That's value. Anytime you get the double Vine Lash tick, or like a Wildfire tick, it's so nice. I'll stay in one turn. Oh my gosh, I can do it. I can actually get away with that. Yeah, I can get away with that. Torkoal, plus one, special attack. You are so pinned right now, my guy. I've never seen someone more pinned than you right now. Okay, he's oh, oh <laughs> He's maxing the Incin. Okay, go for it. He is blocking my um. He is blocking my sludge attack. That does suck. I agree. But what is these switches? So he didn't bring his restricted. He brought a uh, cart and Grim. What is this? I mean, maxing the. That's probably your best shot, Chief. Max, who's gonna get blocked up? That's right. 
See, the thing about Flare Blitz here, like, Max Force is like a 130. It's like, Flare Blitz is like a 120. Yeah, he one-shots us there. That is a one-shot. Is that a crit? Okay, that's just how much that does. That's nuts. But, like, Cart's gonna get its Sash clocked here. And then I just go into the redirect. I want to see if it's even Sash. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. So thank you for the follow. Let's see what we actually want to get done here. He has Grim coming in. Grim or Feeny. I think we're just gonna entity. Sucks it's my max down, but like we have Lionlash ticking. Um, Eruption still do a lot. He actually saves the he saves the Feeny in the back, which is the correct play. No, I see I see Max Instant all the time. I think Max I think Instant's a good maximum. That Instant actually has a lot of attack investment, or else he wouldn't have been able to do that. Oh, yeah, I think we just redirect. So like eruption. He's probably gonna light screen here. And I can't really do anything about that. But I, it will buy me a couple turns. I think we still one shot the Grim here. Yeah, we'll see. Actually I don't know. Like maybe with the Vine Lash ticking it might. If Torgo would have plus one spirit break before it, it actually sucks he has an attack there. Um, because he's gonna be able to get rid of my Indie this turn. So it's the last turn max. Sorry, next turn's his last turn max. I'm out of max turns. Alright, how much damage? We gotta we gotta get this Grim off the board. Dumpstered. Okay, cool. So the way I'm looking at this is you have a Feeny back there, right? This is your last turn max, and I, I want to say that I have one more Vine Lash tick, and that's actually really important. Let me think about this. The Vine Lash tick is going to be super important, because he's taking away my terrain too, which sucks. I don't think I get my boost. Let's see, because the Feeny it hasn't activated it yet. Did I get my Psychic Seeds yet? Nope. Yeah, it takes it away. It's fine. Alright, so let's think about this. I have one last Vine Lash tick. He has one more max turn. What are the IV spreads? It's 31 in every stat but attack. I think you actually just double attack here. If he hits the Calyrex and it's a Torkoal. I mean, if he doubles into my Torkoal, we just straight lose. Right? No, we... we Actually, it means we'd have to high horsepower here. But that means it's just better to trick room. Yep. Let's try it. If he, if he doesn't double in the Tor if he double if he hits the Calyrex and like Muddy Waters, I think we're fine. Because Torkoal, I mean, he could get an accuracy drop, but I don't think it kills. Like, I don't think it does enough Torkoal to like matter. And let's see who he's actually going after. If, he, if he's. Oh my god, he actually got it on the Torkoal. That sucks. Why'd you get it on Torkoal? Why'd you get it on the Torkoal? No. That's probably going to lose me the game. That's gonna lose me the game. I could have max guarded there to make sure I didn't die, but like, he's just gonna, I'm just gonna miss overheat or eruption now. Oh, I didn't miss it. Oh, all right. This is the last tick of Vine Lash. I just gotta like not die to this in Sin like this turn. And I, oh my God, he had a berry. Fuck, I should have protected. No, I don't think I was wrong. I think if he doubled into my Torkoal and actually took it out, we would have just straight lost. But let's see what he actually has. That Axie drop is so not good for me. LSC, can Sin beat Torkoal? This is the El Classico. I have to hit an eruption. Let's see how much damage he even does. With uh flare if he's even flare blitz. He if he just has like party shots and fake outs, like I think we'll be fine. He has flare he's going for flare blitz. He wants that recoil. I need to hit him. Can we hit you? Please, Torkoal. Torkoal, please hit this man with an eruption. That's what I'm talking about, Torkoal. Let's go. Big eruptions up. We win. We won the game. That man had some crazy switches. <laughs> some crazy switches. But Torkoal busted. Torkoal is the best restricted mod. I've been saying it the whole time. And yeah, we take those. We take those. 100% win rate. Win rate right now. 100%. That's what I'm Torkoaling about. That's right. Survey says 237 in the whole wide world. Nihilego. Cinderace is actually super good. I wonder if that's gonna be like Turbo Shroom. And we do have to watch out for Mouse Stick. I think Mouse Stick is so underrated. 
I actually think... Because, like, it can imprison Trick Room, it can set screens, there's so many things it can do. Um, if we were just to go Indie and Calyrex, would that get me what I need? Or should we do one of those games where I lead my Torkoal? I don't really want to lead Torkoal against, like, potential melee goes. And, like, Cinderace is really scary for, like, Venusaur. So, like, if they would, like, Cinderace Whim, and I wanted to go, like, Venu, that'd be hard. I think I'm actually going to lead Venusaur. I think Venusaur is still nice enough to use. I think, I, I like this lead, because it means I can switch in my Torkoal, or I can switch in my Indidi. And these are the mons that I want to be featuring. I think they lead Whim Ogre. I mean, if they lead Whim Ogre, I think this is fine against that. Because you just switch in the Indidi, pop the TR, and then you win the game. Let's go. Again, this guy's ranked 237 in the world. He has a lot of good mons. I would say the good thing about this guy's team, for him, is that a lot of his mons can do a bunch of different things, but also they're all known for having, like, sashes. Whims are known for having sash. is known for having sash. Cinderace and Nihileo can also be sash mons as well, depending on how you want to play them. So once we find the sash, it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, it's going for this lead. That should be okay. I think that should be okay. He's going for, like, the Prankster Spore lead, which means, um... Which means this is a good play against that. I don't think you need a max. I think you just uh, Weather Ball. Switch in the Torkoal. Actually, I can just switch in the Entity and TR. Right? Am I wrong? Can I just switch in the Entity and TR? Because it'll block the Prankster. Yeah. I could go for the Weather Ball. I think he's going for the Spore play. I think he's trying to spore the Calyrex, and this he's going to skill swap, turn himself into a Prankster Mon, and then we're just going to block it. That's, the, that's my idea. He could also be sporing here. I don't, I don't think that really matters. Um, I say spore meant sub. We'll see. So Psychic Seeds boost active. If we get put to sleep, we get put to sleep. I don't think it, I don't think it matters. There's a reflect. Okay. It looked like he was going to do it. Is he just straight sporing my Calyrex? Is he just an absolute pog champ? He is. That should be that should still be fine, I think, though. I think it should still actually be fine, because it's wasting one turn right there. This board is so low power. This is the most low power board I've ever seen. So we can do a couple different things. We can switch out our entity. We can go for an expanding force. I th I don't think I have a problem with expanding forcing there. Uh if you want to set like uh what is it? If you want to set like a light screen, I'll have to just deal with it. But I do think this is a pretty decent lead. I want to switch up my Calyrex. I'd much rather waste all these turns that I'm asleep, like, right now. And I want to break your Amoongus Sash. So this is really good. Yeah, go for it. So I'm assuming that's a light clay on that. Uh, the Amoongus probably isn't Sash, but I want to stick damage on it just to make sure. I'd love a crit. That'd be nice. All right, and he's going to spore my Entity now. Yep. I still think this is okay. Because um, we're probably going to wake up, like, this turn or next turn. Um, and I'm assuming that, like, actually, should we just be using, should we TR? Because I don't know how fast he is. He's probably made min speed. I actually think I'm going to just try and wake up here, obviously. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Lance. Just stick some damage. Because if I TR, um, <laughs> he then just spores me again. So, like, I'd much rather just get the KO. He might even be switching this turn. But we know he has these two. And remember, the thing we're trying to play around is him skill swapping onto his Amoongus to go for pr Prankster boosted spores. So he's switching that one out. Is this Ogre? I would love a crit on Ogre. That would be so nice. Cinderace. That's fine. I want to I wanna stick damage on that too. Double switch. Yo. What if I use Trick Room though? What if I get? What if I use the Trick Room? Are you just going to eat that? Are you just going to get Trick Room and lose the game? Okay. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay with me if you just want to get Trick Room and lose the game. That's no big deal. Of course, Entity has to be asleep that turn. Calyx wakes up. Cool. Boom. Bada boom, bada bing, bada zing. Now let's see, let's think about this. Entity can totally wake up here and we can set our TR. So like, if we do wake up here, I'll risk it. If this guy's playing risky, I'll play risky. Um, I'm gonna try and TR. Entity can redirect both your moves and then I just bring up my Torkoal. And the fact that I have Torkoal plus Calyrex means I might be able to get this off. He is maxing, I think he's maxing the Cinderace. I would not be surprised to see like Steel Spike from Cinderace, as opposed to, like, a, a Max Fireball. Also, but I do respect the Max Fireball, so, yeah, we'll see. And the Ogre's probably spouting, but we can't even spout. 
Well, actually, if he max darknesses, that would that would suck. And you wake up, cool. That's great. Let's see if he max darkness might be able to like if that's like specs ogre, we're in for a bad time. Oh, he's so good. You love seeing people that are good. You do love seeing people that are good. I don't know if I live a Specs Spout right now. I might live the Mystic Water one. Because I'm still at full. This pretty much just negates my Psychic Seeds. I don't, I don't know. Um, but that's a really good play from him, going for the Max Darkness. And he's Orbed? Okay. Spout? He's not at full, either. That's another thing to know. Alright, cool. We live. He's not Specs. He is nuked. And you know what happens now. We gotta trick him up. So trick him's up. Like, we're in a good spot right now. Because we got the boy in the back. We got the boy in the back. We haven't even maxed yet. I don't even know if I should max. Because we're gonna melt that Cinderace right now. Torkoal's up, yo. He has these two plus Meowstic and Amoongus. I just want to check something. I don't know if I should max. I don't think you max the Rex here. I don't. I do not think you do. If we take a lot of damage here, if we take all damage here, I think maxing the Venusaur is going to be how we win. If we get the Cinderace off the board, which I don't know if he's going to protect it. Alright, cool. He's not. Awesome. They shouldn't have to take Cinderace out. Um... Yeah, Cinderace going down means, like, I can just max with Venusaur in the game. His last two months can't be Venusaur. That's good. You can totally go for a Spout. Like, he ain't gonna go, get you anything. Nice Sun Spout, bro. Origin Pulse, cool. Like I said, he wasn't choiced. He's pro he might be Mystic Water, but I doubt it. Yeah, we think. We also max our Torkoal in this situation, too. Let's think about this. I actually think I'm going to protect my Calyrex and just uh, let the Torkoal die. I think that's probably a decent idea. Or even switching the Venusaur. That's probably an even better play because I can switch out my move that I'm locked into so I can go for Overheats. Because he might switch at the Ogre to try to like regain water or weather control. Ooh, he sends up that. I, I don't care about that Pokemon. I guess he can fake out. Do I care? I'm doing this to play around Fake Out. Because I think it totally still have Fake Out. It sucks Torkoal's stuck using a weak-ass Eruption. But we just want the Ogre off the board right now. If we can get Ogre off the board, he then comes in with the Amoongus and Meowstic, and I think we're okay. It sucks Max and Amana is this weak. But I think it's the right play. I mean, I could Protect here. I still think this is the right play. Because we need to really speed up these Trick Room turns. Yeah, go for it. I want to see what he's doing with the Meowstic. If he's like... He might have Shadow... Does that thing even get Shadow Ball or Dark Pulse? Let's see. Let's see how much damage you're going to do to the Meowstic here. Probably very, very little. I will get a Spadef Boost proc, though. Is he Trick Room? My Trick Room? That's actually pretty sick if he is. But we'll see what he's doing. I think he's Trick Rooming me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we have Venusaur on the back. Let me think about how I want to play this. I think we just... I don't see a problem with switching in Venusaur here. And just Max Guarding. That was a good play. Yeah, that was a great play from him. I shouldn't have pulled my trigger so hard. I should have just went with the... I should have just went double in and saved my Max of Venusaur on the back. I still don't think that Amoongus can hit me, though. So we'll see. Switching the Venusaur on the O-Pulse. Um, Venusaur locks up Ogre and we win the game. Yeah, he's, he's making the right play. And next turn we can just uh, 
hit that slot super hard. I don't think Amoongus has any damaging attacks. I think it's like a sub, spore, prankster, whatever. I'm never gonna use Lash Out Incineroar. Ice Cream failed, because it still was up, right? That means it doesn't have anything. I mean, Weather Ball would kill the Amoongus. White screen's still up, though. I'm actually fine going with the Hailstorm here. Because, like, yeah, we'll see. Let's see what happens. White screen? Yeah, it's not going to work. I would just let this to happen. Weather Ball. Let's see how much damage this actually does. He's probably sporing my um, Calyrex slot, which I don't care about. Yeah, I knew I couldn't get the KO there. I knew that I couldn't. Show me the spore. It's fine. And next turn, I think we'll be fine. I don't think he has the stuff to like break this uh, Venusaur. That's the thing. I'm probably throwing a little bit, but I don't think he has the the stuff to break my Venusaur. And I'm still gonna try and TR because like my sun will last forever. Last turn, sun. Okay. Don't wanna have that not work. I'm gonna try and get a trick him up. Like Venusaur is the big check to Amoongus. Okay, go for it. Are you switching in, Ogre? I can actually wake up Calyrex this turn too, which, is be, which would be pretty nice. So he's going for the range. He tried to switch this and make it so my Weather Ball is weak, but joke's on him. I'm not using Weather Ball this turn. Because I'm good. Because now I'm good. I got stab moves. Just like that, I got those stab moves. And now we just switch in uh, Torkoal. Oh, and we wake up. We just win. Easy peasy. We don't need to do anything. We just win. Just like that. I'll take the, I'll take the win. I'm against rank 237 in the world. Oh man. Oh man. The system I use to do the bulk of my job is down for two hours, so I'm officially being paid to watch a stream. Yo, wins up. That's awesome. That is awesome amazing. Actually, I think we just double into the ogre just, just to make sure. I don't think we've seen all the moves on the now stick yet, so. But yeah, we're we're taking those wins still. Feels good, man. Yeah, the we see like light screen reflect. Trick Room. It's probably Imprisoned is the last move. And again, I, I do not care if he wants to go protect Ogre and try to like, um, he goes for a fake. It was fake out. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, it was just a hard imprison. But yeah, that's why we double Ogre. That's why we double the Ogre. He's like, what? I could have just went protect Trick Room. It's like, I don't know, maybe you should have. <laughs> I mean, I have the Torque on the back. If you do imprison my Trick Room, I just switch out Calyrex for, um, Torkoal and just reset the sun and then we win. And then we win. Just like that. Battle was cancelled. Yeah, and since we're vested, even if you fake out of the Venusaur, we would have been fine. He wouldn't have been able to even like fake out Ice Beam, then he would have been ignoring the Calyrex, we would have won the game there. So we take those. 603, baby. Can we get top 500? Top 500 with this team, maybe. Definitely. Survey says. Okay, rank 464. Ogre, Garchomp, ooh, watch choice. All right, I want TR. I could totally just go like Moltres here. <laughs> okay. I like Venusaur here probably more than I should. I think Venusaur is pretty good versus Garchomp. Problem is getting around screens, but I think Venusaur is gonna be a really, really nice mon. It's decent versus Zapdos. I say, I say decent versus Zapdos. Um, you can break Urshifu's up. It's good versus Cart. It's decent versus Grim. It's good versus Chomp. Yeah, Venusaur is probably gonna be pretty good here. I've been having a lot of like good stuff leading like Venusaur Calyrex lately. Because when I lead Venusaur Calyrex, I can switch in the Torkoal and just nuke their Ogre, or like. I can switch on the Torkoal and just like Weather Ball or Cart. You know, they're super, super Dunzoed. I wonder if they're gonna like Rock Slide me with the Chomp. That's like what I'm really worried about is like Rock Slide from Chomp. I don't think though that I think only Rock Slide Chomp beats like this setup. So let's go. That team would be really scary if like there was a any form of, if there was like a Rillaboom or like any other form of terrain control in that team, that'd be really hard to deal with. 
Like, I've used a team that looks a lot like that. If you actually take the Garchomp off, or like a Beanie or something like that, it's like, ooh, and then you put like Misty Seeds in your Zapdos. It's really, really hard to break that sort of core. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so we just had a screen here, or a Reflect. I don't think you can like do that much about this. And I want to see if that Zapdos maxes. I would love to see a max Zapdos here. So we know he has these two. You know the Ogre is going to be in the back. So we got to watch out for the Ogre in the back for sure. Give me a sec here. Yeah, I got to watch out for Ogre in the back. I kind of want him to like double attack in the Unity. Like Spirit Break or something like that. Let's see though. I think this is the right play. And even if he brings the Ogre in the back, I don't think Grim wants to eat, like, an Eruption plus a Glacial Lance. Even he's going to be able to get, like, a Reflect or a Light Screen off. And I think he's going to pick the Reflect just because there's a Glacier on the board. Or the Ice Horse, Calyrex. Which means when we bring in Torkoal next turn, we'll be in a really good spot. I might even end up maxing the Torkoal or the Venu. I might bring in Venusaur, actually. Depends on if he wants the Light Screen or Reflect. I think it's really important because, like, we can use Weather Ball, which is hard switching an Ogre. That works. That means when we bring in our Torkoal, it's just going to do crazy damage. Yeah, that totally works. Um, I might even just max my uh, Calyrex this game, then. Protecting. Cool, I get to keep my Indity. That's, like, super busted. And we don't know who's faster, though. Um, his Ogre or my Indity? Because Ogre can be faster. I don't think his is faster. I can get the Zapdos off the board. I can just max Quake here, right? It doesn't have any other flyers. I don't mind max Quaking and just, uh... Spanning Force would be nice here. It would. I don't think that damage matters. I think Expanding Force is gonna be pretty dope. Man, nah, let's go for a Quake. Let's get the Sped, sped Up boosts. Now, let's see, he's in a decent spot. I wonder if that Grim set something weird. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I kind of want to hit the Zapdos, but I don't want... I, I don't think he'll let me. The Protect's on cooldown, too. Like, I could just hit that slot hard AF. But I think it's nice hitting the Ogre. I think getting this Pidef boost is nice. It's Grim. Cool. That definitely works. He's going to be buffering a lot of the damage from my... Uh, He's not going to take the Expanding Force damage. But, like, we'll see what he can even get done here. I think we're in a great spot, regardless. These two plus Zapdos. Last Mon, I wonder what it is. It's probably Urshifu, if I'm being completely honest. But I'm getting those Quake boosts. He hasn't maxed yet. Unless he's maxing this turn. He's probably just protecting this turn. Which is why we're going for the Quake. Oh, no Protect. Awesome. Big damage. But, like, you might die. If you, it, looks like, it looks like you're at full speed, so like, let's see if you outspeed my entity here. Uh, that would tell me if you're timid. Survey says you're timid. Okay, we take those. Because my entity is full speed timid as well. Base 85 versus base 90, so you have to be like full timid or scarf to be like outspeeding. Oh my gosh, we just one shot your ogre. That might that's probably scarf, if I'm being completely honest, because like, why wouldn't you protect there? So yeah, we definitely are taking that so far. That's pretty nice. Urshifu, I, I called it. And right now, show me the Dark Urshifu. Oh, you know, we got the good move in the back, right? I told you guys that we got the good move. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's literally for this exact situation. Um, yep. Yep. Yepers. When I'm playing Sears, it's a whole nother ball game. Able to analyze everything. Where does Uber go, yo? Dunzo. Dazzling Mega Brain. Yeah, it's just for Urshifu Dark. And like I said, uh, Inity should be underspeeding at 85 base versus like 97 base. And then the uh, Sash of the Urshifu will get broken by the uh, Hailstorm. So if he pops a, like, a Reflect, like, it doesn't matter. If he pops a Light Screen, he'll live, but like, at what cost, you know? I wonder if he knows to pop a Light Screen in this situation. And if he pops Light Screen, he just loses the Grim Snarl, which is like, cool, you only get one screen. Oh my gosh, he's gonna lose Zapdos. Oh my goodness. Did you think I was gonna, I think you thought I might max click the Grim? That's a ballsy read. But you can tell it's a read. He's maxing your Okay, that's another really good option. It won't KO, though. It will not KO. And we have Torkoal in the back. We have Torkoal Venu in the back. So, like, the fact we're getting this uh, Zapdos off the board is amazing. 
I mean, if we crit, he's dead. Because it's going to be single target dazzling him, too. So that's really, really nice. Unless he's max guarding? Nope. So Zapdos is donezoed. Zapdos is big donezo. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. You'll love to see that. Oh, my gosh. Those savage, savage plays. All right. How much damage are you doing to Urshifu here? What's up? Not much. Zapdos goes down. Love to see it. Chilling Nay. I'm breaking my own sash here, so it definitely sucks. But we almost got it. Yo, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Three months, yo. It's been a pretty good day so far. We got a lot of subs. We got a lot of wins. Oh my gosh, that doesn't do any damage. That doesn't do, like, any damage at all. Yeah, we're taking those all the way to the bank. Thank you, though. Really, really do appreciate that. Yo, hit me with the one punch. I think it's totally fine. It's been a good day. It's been a pretty good day. There's the Grim. I think the Grim is the scariest Pokemon in this situation, but, like, if we just go D-Gleam and hit the Grim Snarl again, like, we win. NDD better than Grim Snarl. Sorry, NDD better than Urshifu Dynamax confirmed. Didn't he? That was a four stock. Straight up didn't even need the other Pokemon in my team. So, uh, we be taking those.